Since 2016, I've been helping to lead a journalism project called Documenting Hate, and we've brought newsrooms together from around the country, about 150 newsrooms, to track hate crimes, bias incidents, episodes of bigotry, and so forth all across the nation. And for me, my personal part of this has been looking at the resurgence of white power activity, of white supremacist gangs and organizations in the U.S. If the community is going to be able to effectively respond to this resurgence in white supremacist activity, it has to know that threat, understand it. So I've been reporting on that and doing films for Frontline, sort of showing what's happening with those movements. What I saw in the aftermath of the 2016 election was that there were a lot of people coming out and saying, I'm a white nationalist, I'm a white supremacist, I'm a leader of this new white power movement. And I didn't want to go put a microphone in their faces and say, tell me all about your beliefs and your position. What I wanted to do was look for the very violent actors in that scene the people who didn't want to be on camera, the people who didn't want a microphone put in their face, but were engaging in criminal activity. My team came to Orange County kind of randomly. What happened was we started looking at a white supremacist gang with deep ties to Orange County called the Rise Above Movement. So we came to Orange County to talk to these guys, to look at these guys, to understand their crimes and what motivated them. And as we spent time in Orange County, People kept saying to us, this is the newest incarnation of something that has been in this community for many, many years. And that really wasn't the story we expected to find, but that's what we found when we came here. For the people that we're reporting on, they view everything as the battlefield. They are willing to engage in, in conflict and combat with journalists. And so I think for all of us covering this, there is a concern about our personal safety, and honestly, our sanity. You know, it's really a, a great honor to be recognized by the OC Human Relations Council. And I, I, this is why, is the people at this agency and the other people in that network that do the work of combating hate crimes, of creating tolerance in schools, in institutions that are out there trying to bring communities together and knit them together, these are the heroes to me. These are the people that inspire me. And they're the people that don't really get thanked and honored in their work. So it's a great honor to receive this award from the people that I look up to that are an inspiration to me.